Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Game Boss here. Today we are playing World of Warships. It was just released into open beta yesterday. And so far it's a very good game. There's a couple of glitches. The sound is a little bit off, so I have gone ahead and I have turned the sound all the way down. Um, comment in the next video if you guys want me to turn the sound on. It is really glitchy and it doesn't sound very good. So, that's up to you guys. I'll just, um, I'll turn it off for this video though because I don't want to ruin it. But anyways, <coughs> today we are looking at the Wyoming class battleship. It has, let's see, it has six turrets with two guns. So it has 12, 305 millimeter guns. It is a very very good battleship in my opinion so far I've gotten and I'm starting to wish I would have started um, doing videos with the Chester but I got the Chester, the St. Louis, the South Carolina and the Wyoming. The South Carolina is very good as well um, there's one thing I don't like about the Wyoming all the guns are on the back who I mean, most people normally sail in this direction, so... I don't know. Why didn't they just move this entire bridge back here, replace with these, and put these up here? I don't know, but it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of an issue. It can be potentially problematic, but... Yep, I'm just gonna leave it to that. Let's go get into a battle. Alright, welcome to the game. We have just joined one. And so, let's see. This is a feature I think they should add to World of Tanks. It is autopilot mode. And to use it, you just click M for map. And then you press the shift button. And then you click, you have to hold down shift. You click the specific places that you would like to visit in autopilot mode so in this case on I actually just realized where we're going and I want to go right there instead so you just click the buttons and you get there that made sense you just click the buttons and you get there but anyways I'm going to kinda of give a beginner's guide to world of warships as we're sailing to our place um, so down on the bottom of the screen, you can see that there's two types of shells and repair kits. HE is, well, it's high explosive, so it does damage, but it does not have to penetrate to do damage. Um, AP, which I think is what all battleships should be firing, because HE does damage, but it rarely penetrates. But if you use AP and you penetrate the deck, you can get a citadel penetration, which means it's pretty much like an ammo rack in World of Tanks, but it doesn't wipe out the ship. It does a lot of damage, though. So, if you shoot AP, you have the potential to do a lot more damage than if you were using AP. So, anyways, um, on to the repair kits. There is a fire extinguisher and a wrench with the R button under it. You press that in case, say, one of my turrets got knocked out, or my steering got knocked out, or... You know what I mean? Then you just press the R button, and it instantly repairs whatever you are... Whatever is damaged. And... So, yeah. The T... Oh, it has a cooldown. It seems like about a minute and a half. But anyways, the T button is a battleship-only... Um, repair kit, I think. You press the T button, and it replaces about 7,000 HP to your battleship. Um, one. Can we hit them? Nope, but we're gonna steer toward them. And, see, this is what I mean, like, all the guns, say I wanted to turn around, and I was, say I went around like this, we'd have to have all the guns turn back around Watch, ready? All the guns will start turning this way to try to aim the way that I want them to. Oh dear. That is not good. And battleship captains, stay away from destroyers. 
I've been killed by torpedoes too many times. So anyways, World of Warships, I think, is an overall great game. The graphics are pretty good. I have them on pretty low, too, just so I don't get lag while I'm recording. Um, even though I get lag while I'm recording, you know. Um, but anyways, I think the graphics are pretty good. The overall gameplay is really fun. There's one thing. Those... So, to lock onto a target, you press control and select the target that you would like to aim at. In this case, I want to aim at those, but they're too far away now. So, press control. And, oh, that guy's too far away, too. But anyways, the people in World of Warships are actually nice. Like, if somebody rams into you and does some damage, they actually say sorry. And, and in World of Tanks... It would be, why'd you friggin' ram me, tard? And then this whole thing would happen, and you know what I mean? But anyways, it is a good change, but it's so strange because multiplayer gaming, you know, nobody is nice. And that's what you gotta be prepared for. You also gotta be prepared to battle enemy ships, and which are coming, or were coming to them. I don't know about you, but I'm prepared. I got my AP shells loaded. Prepared to press the R key for any repairs. Prepared to press the T key to replenish any health that may have been lost during the battle. If we get there. And looking at the top of the screen, we are probably going to lose. Which is nice. Very, very nice. Uh, okay. The lag is real. Why do they always stay so far away? I can't shoot them. So if you double click, you will shoot all of your guns at the same time, as long as all of them are on target. If you click and hold down, it will shoot each one at a different time. If you just click once, it will shoot one of the guns. So, oh, we got a target. It's in range. You have to lead these shells a lot, too. Like, a lot more than I would have thought you had to. So, be prepared to place your guns where you want them to when you show up. Because you don't want to be cranking them all the way around just to aim at a target since you turned. Because I just turned, but I don't want to bring... Well, I do, but I know I can't. I want to bring all the guns to maybe right there. That ship's going pretty fast. There's a warning that we're about to hit the land. So we've got a turn here. Let's turn on autopilot. We'll go around here. Actually, that's a bad idea because I just saw what's on the map. Bad idea alert. Alright, let's see. Can we hit this guy? Probably double click, let all the guns out. One of them is not aiming at the target. 830 damage, alright. Alright. Can do with that. All the guns are on the target. This is going to be fun. Oh, that guy, if he gets hit, that's going to be a enemy started base. Yeah, we got him. Is that destroy? Oh, we're getting warnings from. Got a target that. Do we not have? I don't think this thing has anti air. So we gotta be careful. Come on. Gatine. Come hit this guy. I don't wanna bring us to his attention. But if we don't shoot at him, he's just going to get away, so. Oh, dear. We got torpedoes inbound. Yeah, I think this is the end of my game. That's going to be four torpedo hits. Yeah, I'm done, I think. Come on, come on. Survive this. Survive this. Okay. Good. Yes. The mighty Wyoming survives. That is a destroyer.
Battleships need to stay away from those because those launch torpedoes everywhere, and that is not good. Yeah, this is the end of my game, I'm pretty sure. Oh. This thing, I'm just going to charge straight in because I know I'm not going to survive this battle. We're losing pretty badly. 6 to 2. Reloading guns. Yeah, we're not going to get out of this one. I can't reverse back. That would be too slow. So bring full broadside here. And just unload. Ready. Set. Come on. Survive for this. Bang. Bang. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Ugh. Nope. Alright. Well, I will see you guys in the garage. And we are in the, um, we're not in the garage, actually. We are in the port. Um, so that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I need the support to keep this channel going. Um, if you want to see more World of Warships, then leave that in the comments. Um, thanks for watching, and that's all I got.